of Birmingham, it's the Golden Shot. And here's the man who keeps it bang on target, here's Bobby. Oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, and you know, it's really nice to be back here. <laughs> Don't laugh, this is the gold prize. <laughs> True weeks in darkest Africa, and here I am in darkest Britain. <laughs> Never mind, end the power cut. We blow up, and there come the lights, because I'm delighted to say we've just heard a new splash from the ITN saying that the work to rule is over. Yes, the electricity workers have decided that they'll no longer work to rule, and that's not a gag, that's the honest truth. So, uh, that's good news. That means our crossbows are working full-time, too, so let's start playing the golden shot and find out who's first to ring in for a go at our target. I can't wait to get back in harness. And here we go, with my grateful thanks to Pete Murray for the last two weeks, and now I thank you, whoever you are. Who are you? Mrs. Harding. Mrs. Mrs. Harding. Harding. Landgurich, Montgomery, sir. Land Landgurich. Landgurich, Montgomery, sir. Now, Montgomery, sir, I know, is just above Ratner. Are you near Aberystwyth? Or? 24 miles inland. Inland, towards Clan... There's another clan near you, isn't Clanid there? Lois. Clanid Lois. Clanid of course. Either, are you a Welsher or a Whaler? I mean, do you come from there? I come from Durham. From Durham? Yes. And what brought you to Wales? Well, beautiful countryside. Mm. It's I a love it. wonderful land, isn't it's it? Beautiful. Land of song, land of your fathers, land of the valleys. Right now, we want it to be a land of archery because we have a target for you to aim at. And just a second, would you please, Mrs. Harding, while I tell our viewers as well as you what it's all about? See, our targets today are based upon cartoons that I've drawn myself as illustrations for a newly published funny book called The A to Z of Soccer. And the book's been written by my friend Willis Hall and our guest from a few weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, from the cinema series, Michael Parkinson. Well, they wrote a very funny book and they invited me to do the drawings, and so I did. And when our target designer, Jay Clemens, saw the drawings, she said, oh, well, I'll choose four of these. It'll save me the trouble of designing four targets. Here's the first of my drawings that she chose to make our apples target, the copper on duty at the football ground. He's been told to take the laces out of the skinhead's bobber boots, but being an Aston Villa supporter, he's taken the laces away from the other team as well. <laughs> anyway, there are six soccer stermers in the picture. Can you see them, Mrs. Harding? Yes. What's your yes. first name? Pardon? What's your first name? Nora. Oh, well, Nora Apple, if you will. And name the prize, <laughs> Pippin. The, uh, the bell will tell you that you've drawn, if you've drawn, five pounds out of our golden hoard, so pick a pom do. Number six, please. Number six. No bell, but we can see the apple flashing on the constable's helmet. Can you see it there yeah, in yeah. Montgomeryshire? Yeah. Right, then we go over to our Wembley assembly, the two bother boys who are known to the police. Whenever Bernie gets out his razor, he has trouble with the fuzz. And uh, go ahead and put the bolt in, Bern. In goes the bolt, and his mate has got both eyes blacked up. That's Barry, who'll be guiding the the camera that's mounted on the crossbow to enable you to hit that chosen apple. Are you all ready, Nora? Yes. Then we give you that well-known 30 seconds in order to aim and hit your apple, starting now. Up, up, stop, right, stop, down, stop, fire. In steps Anne Aston, who thinks that black power is an electricity cut. <laughs> Nora Harding has hit the apple. She's been doing all her life. Well done, Nora. See you next week. Bye. Here's the first of our studio contestants chosen from our studio audience, and Jutta Stensgaard is here to introduce me. <laughs> Philip Hello. Healy of Hall Green. Philip, are you married? Yes. How long? Ten weeks. Ten weeks? Yes. So you've been enjoying the power cut? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you do for a living? Well, I work for a firm that um, do controls for conveyors. For conveyor belts? Yes. And your bride, she's a little belter too, I hope. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have no power crisis anymore, Philip, so you can be sure you'll get through on the phone. Just step inside the booth there and pick up the gold telephone and you'll be able to see the target on the screen just as our viewers at home can see it on their own screens. We are a live show, despite what you may think. Hello, Philip, can you Hello, hear me? Bob? Name an apple leaving out, if you will, number six. Number one, please. Apple number one. No bell chimes, but we can see it on the little form where the skinhead has put his skin bottom. 
Can you see that all right? Yes, thank you. That's where it's flashing, so Bernie, the bolt. And for Philip Healy from Hall Green in Birmingham, his 30 seconds begin now. Right. Stop. Down. Stop. Right. Stop. Fire. Once again, we need confirmation from Ann Aston because uh, Philip didn't blow up the apple, but... It's a hit for Mr. Healy. It's a hit for Mr. Healy. Coming up now, our next telephone contestant. Did it tweet? Yes, it did. Hello, who's calling the Golden Shot? Hello, it's Harold Rivers of Leamington Spa. What part of Leamington Spa do you live in, Harold? Uh, Highland. Oh. Uh, it's Highland Road, it's up Lillington. Oh, in Lillington. Yep. What do you do for a living? A commercial artist. Are you the one in the middle? That's right. <laughs> We're holding you up so the we can see. One. <laughs> do you paint for pleasure as well? Yes, yes. Uh, on, at holiday time, you know, uh. weekends. Bring one along to show us next week, will you? Yes, I will. Because my brother's a bit of an artist. He draws unemployment. <laughs> Are you ready to have a go at uh, my little drawing there? OK, Bob. Yeah. OK, name an apple. Pick a palm do, not one or six. Four. And you've got yourself a prize pippin. That's a fiver coming your way. So congratulations, Harold. <laughs> you started off well. Doesn't matter so much if you miss now, but don't do it. Bernie the Bolt, please. And for Harold Rivers in Lillington, Leamington Spa, your 30 seconds begin now. Left. Stop. Down. Down. Stop. Right. 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 Stop. Left. Stop. Down. Stop. Right. Stop. Fire. 18.6 seconds out of the possible 30. And here's Anne Aston to tell us whether... It is a hit. It is. That's fine. See you next week. Cheers, Bob. Bye. Bye. Hello, who are you? This is Pamela Holloway of Lemster. Of Lemster, which is on the border of Herefordshire, Worcester and Shropshire. It's yes. in... It's in Herefordshire. It's in Herefordshire. Yes. Your housewife? Yes, I am, yes. What does your husband do for a living? Um, he's an inspector in a factory that makes nickel alloys. Nickel? Yes, nickel alloys. That's a coincidence. I was in Africa last week on holiday, and apparently the missionaries, the clergymen, when they went into the African jungle, they wore underpants made of nickel so that the spears would glance off them if the natives threw spears at them. They were known as the nickel ass Parsons. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Would you like to step in? <laughs> oh. Hard to believe the jokes, isn't it? <laughs> you really need to record the show and play it back and force yourself to believe it. Pick up the phone in there. Have you got it up, Pamela? Yes, I have. Fine. Would you like to name an apple, remembering that you can't have one, four, or six? I have number three, please. Number three is the one that you see flashing right now on the football in the bottom right-hand corner of your picture. Bernie the Bolt. And for Pam Holloway of Lemster in Herefordshire, the 30 seconds begin now. Up. Stop. Right, stop, down, stop, right, stop, right, stop, fire. Well, it's a curious place to put the bolt because it didn't actually hit the target. Well, she's hit an apple, but it's, it's another apple. <laughs> In fact, I think it's up there on the oh, policeman's elbow, oh, no. darling. No, I'm sorry, she's hit it here. I got yes. the wrong one. <laughs> you gave him a vaccination right in the arm there. Well, never mind, Pam. Thank you very much for being with us, and it's, it's easily done. That means next week, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be looking for an extra contestant on next week's program. Right now, we're going to take a short break before bringing you Clive Dunn, and, I'm delighted to say, Jackie Lee, Jack Douglas, and the Golden Sun target, valued at £600. So stay with us on the Golden Shot. <laughs> <laughs>